Welcome back to LabVIEW Basics. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section, we'll talk about while loops. Now, a while loop is a structure in LabVIEW that lets you execute a portion of your code over and over again until a certain condition is met. So let's jump into LabVIEW and see how it works. I'll create a new VI by pressing Control N, and then I'll maximize the block diagram. I'll right click to bring up the functions palette and pin it in place. Now, under the programming section, I can click on structures and while loop. And when I do, you'll notice that my cursor changes to a little box. Now I can click and drag on the block diagram to draw my while loop. Any code I place inside the while loop will execute over and over again until a certain condition is met. We'll use the stop terminal in the bottom right to determine when to stop executing our loop. By default, if we pass it a value of true, the loop will stop executing. If we pass it a value of false, the loop will continue to execute. This stop condition is tested at the end of the execution of our loop, which means that a while loop executes at least once. It executes all of its code before it checks whether or not it should stop. So for now, I'm gonna right click on that terminal and choose create control to create a control to stop my loop. In the bottom left, you'll notice the iteration terminal. This outputs a numeric value that indicates how many times our loop has executed. It starts at zero and counts up each loop iteration. So I'll right click that and create an indicator. Now I'll switch to the front panel and we can see the stop button and the iteration count. I'll click the run arrow to run my VI and you'll see that the iteration count is counting up really fast. We're in the tens of millions already. That's because our loop really isn't doing much work right now. So I'll click the stop button and that'll send a value of true to the stop terminal and stop our loop. Let's add some timing to the loop to slow it down so we can see it executing. I'll use quick drop to place a wait millisecond VI. On the input, I'll right click and choose create a constant and I'll enter 1000. 1000 milliseconds will mean that this loop will wait one second between iterations. Now when I switch back to the front panel and I click the run arrow, you can see that the loop slowly counts up, one count per second. And when I click the stop button, my loop terminates. One awesome feature of loops in LabVIEW is that the LabVIEW compiler is smart enough to break up loops between multiple CPU cores. So placing two loops in parallel will actually have them run in parallel on two separate CPU cores if possible. In the next section, we'll talk about for loops, and then we'll talk about passing data in and out of loops. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.